In the following video, I'm going to create both of these Fortuny dresses. That's the back of dress number one. The first thing I'm going to do is create the very simple Fortuny with using the blend tool to create the pleats. And then in the second bit dress, what I'm going to do is create a Fortuny dress with a drop shoulder. So I've actually opened up my croquis, my croquis blocks and I have them on a hidden layer so I'll open the layer and I'm using that block over there and we'll start. What I like to do is have no fill in my when I'm drawing so to remove the fill what I do is I either come here or as I've done I use the quick key which is the forward slash. Usually I like to have a red in my stroke, so to bring my stroke forward what I can do is either click onto the stroke or um, use the keyboard shortcut X to bring that to the front. I change that to red, make sure that I've got a one point there and I'm ready to go. So using my pen tool I've already got my center line there, so I click onto the center, hold shift and drag. And what I've done is just put down an anchor point and two handles. By holding shift, I've made it drag smoothly across so that it's a nice smooth join. When I join the two halves together, coming to the shoulder, I'll just curve it out a little bit. Click under the arm, a little bit of a curve there because I'll have a belt on the dress. Coming down quite close and quite far in and then out and we'll line up what you can see is I've lined up my pen tool with the with the center front line and now I click and hold shift and drag that out. So that's my shape, I'm happy with that. I select the whole shape, transform, reflect, copy Rest my, anchor, my mouse on my anchor point, drag that across, and you see where my anchor point, my mouse goes from black to white? That means that I'm resting both of my anchor points on top of each other. That will only happen if you have snap to point selected. Direct selection, marquee over the center, and I don't need to average because the anchor points are on top of each other. I just join them. At the bottom I'll do the same thing, but this time just in case I haven't got them on top, I'll average them and now join them. Default black and white. And there I have the most basic Fortuny dress. Turn my croquis layer off and I'm ready to go. First of all I'm going to just do that little zigzag on the hem. So I select that line and I copy it. Command C to copy, Command F to the front and I move that line away. Now I'm going to distort and transform and add a zigzag to that line. I'll make my zigzag 0.15 smooth and probably 16 ridges looks good to me and okay so I'm happy with that I need it to be an editable line so I can join the anchor point there to the anchor point there so I need to expand that so let's go into Object, Expand Appearance, and there it is. 
I'm going to delete this bottom line now. Select that and move it up. I don't need the fill. I'll just select the line. So I'm moving it up until it's in line but not touching because it won't. And I direct select the end of my dress, drag it in and join. So as you know, to join, I'm right clicking, drag that in and join. Now, to create my pleats, I'm going to do this in two halves. I'm going to use this line as my first line to create the pleats. So direct selection and copy that line. Control C, Control F. I need to remove the fill from that line. Oh, it doesn't have a fill in it. What I will do though is just put a fill in the background shape. Now, I think that can go a little closer to the edge. And we'll drag that down and in a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is do the center line which is just a straight line. Holding shift, I create a straight line. I'm going to pick that up and match it up with my center anchor point. Holding my space bar, I'm going down to the bottom direct selection and holding shift, I drag that up to meet the other anchor point. So we have our lines in the bottom section of our, of our zigzag. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means I'm going to have in the middle here, so one, two, three, in this line here, I'm going to put my next line. So I'm going to just copy that across until it's almost in the middle. Direct selection and I'll drag that. So I've got one, two, three ridges, one, two, three ridges. And now this line needs to be a bit simpler than that line, so it's a good transition between the three. So I'm going to remove, using my Delete Anchor Point tool, a couple of anchor points here. And I will smooth the ones that are remaining out. So I kind of get that close to the middle. And... I might just smooth that out a little. And move that in a little. So that there's a good transition between them. So I've made it a little smoother. And I believe this needs to come over to the center a little bit more. And there we are, we're ready to go with that, with the blend tool. So zooming in, I double click the blend tool. We know that we had three ridges on either side. So I'm actually going to make my blend between them six and six. So specified steps, which we get in the drop down menu over here, specified steps, six. And OK, I'll come to the center, click on the center one, and click. So immediately what I've done is I've created 
all of these pleats. To edit these lines so that I can bring them all the way up to there, I have to expand them. So object, expand. I need to only expand the object, not the fill or stroke. That's very important. You don't have any fill, but if you expand the stroke, you'll turn it into a fill, and we don't want that. Okay, zooming in, direct selection, and I can just edit those lines. Direct selection at the bottom. Transform, Reflect, Copy. And I've got two lines in the center, so I'll just delete one of them. Group, and there you have your first Fortuny dress. We can create a back quite easily from this front. So I'll just ungroup that for the moment. Control C, Control B to bring up the back. Click onto that anchor point and because I've done the shaping from the center, I can just move that up, change the color, Take that back down using my keyboard increments, default black and white, and now I can group both of those. To create the belt what I did was I just drew the lines that I wanted with my pen tool. And I didn't have a stroke in that. I made it quite wide. So I made my, I didn't have a fill and I made my stroke about six points. And I'm going to also draw, oops. I'll also draw in the ties, so pen tool again. and select all of those lines. Object, path, outline stroke, default black and white, and there I have a tie. And I'm just going to use my pencil tool to create a knot. Arrange, bring to front. And I'm just going to delete that so it makes it look a little bit more natural. I can still use my pencil tool just to create a little I can make those all 0.5. So what I've done is I've dragged my mouse over everything, deselected the background, and I'm grouping the belt. And now to make the back, 
all I'm going to do is drag that across. I'm going to use my direct selection to delete my front. Direct selection and I've picked the two outside plates and I'm just nudging them up to the neck again. Two outside plates. Using my arrows I just nudge them up or drag them up. Default black and white. And I've just got that left and what I'm going to do is just delete the center anchor points. And there I have my first Fortuny dress, the one without the sleeves. Group, group, moving that away. Using my first one, I'm actually going to create the second Fortuny dress with the sleeves. 